Hi guys, welcome back to our part B of our Asus Mars review. So we've got the card in the system. Um, things are a little bit different than when we did the uh, 780 uh, Ti review because that's what we're going to be comparing this card to. We've actually swapped out the case. We've had a new case since then. But apart from that, all the other specs are exactly the same. So it's just a case that is different. So there'll be no differences there. Um, I've currently got Battlefield 4 up. Um, just one note, this is the only video card that will give you f uh, three screens in a triple monitor setup, like which I've got here. I've got three screens running in a 5760 by 1080 resolution. And bear in mind that you can also run these all at 144 hertz. So I've got this massive res running at 144 hertz. Now most games will not be able to run that. Uh, Battlefield 4 is pretty, uh, pretty taxing. I'm running everything at pretty high detail, but um, it's not going to reach 144 hertz because the, the game is relatively new. But if you're running some less taxing games, you'll definitely be able to run 144 hertz across all the three screens. So there's no other video card out on the market that will do that. So it's pretty sweet that it can do that. Now I've had this game running probably for half an hour now. Uh, we'll just look at the temps sort of around the back plate before we uh, jump in and see what the actual core temps are. So we've got about, so you probably round that up to nearly 60 or 63 degrees right in the center there. And then sort of around the card, it's pretty cool. So just the back plate is around 60. I had a quick look before in, um, in the GPU tweak and it was around 72 degrees um, on both the cores. So that's, uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, considering this is a dual GPU card in one. Um, so what, what I'm going to do now, I have run some other benchmarks. I've run, uh, which one's Battlefield 4 bench. I've done a Metro Last Light and then a Batman Origins. So instead of going through each of those and boring you with those, I'm just going to play some, uh, show you how this looks on these three screens, running Battlefield 4 at this res for a bit. And then I'm just going to go through the results I got um, running those benchmarks and I might just put them up on the screen, overlay them on the screen as well. And we'll sort of just compare them to the uh, 780 Ti sort of results because um, to tell you now that the Mars was slightly ahead in most of the games um, for the benchmarks. So I'll just jump in now and we can have a look. All right, so I fired up a uh, level in Battlefield 4 just to see how it runs with this triple monitor setup. Um, it's not running all at max settings, but it's really running relatively high with uh, 2YAA running. And at the moment, we're about 73 frames per second, which is pretty good. So um, I'm pretty sure we're not going to hit the 144 hertz, which the monitors are set at, but uh, it's still smooth regardless. Alright, so with the benchmarks we ran, we ran the Metro Last Light, Battlefield 4 and Batman Origins. So we are going to be comparing this to this uh, 780 Ti from Asus, the DC2 edition. So um, that in itself is a pretty beefed up uh, edition. So um, uh, probably the, the air temperatures are probably going to be uh, close to that rather than if we were using a NVIDIA reference design. Um, so the first benchmark we ran was Metro Last Light. So in the Asus uh, 780 Ti, the max temperature was about 81 degrees. And in the, uh, the Mars, the max temperature was about 76 degrees. So not too much difference there, but still pretty cool regardless. Um, so for the results for the Mars for Metro, we got a max of 102 frames and an average of 65 frames. And that was with everything set to complete max with a resolution of 1920 by 1080, so just your standard uh, full HD resolution there. Um, so with the 780 Ti from Asus, uh, it got about 94 and 52 frames. So the Mars did a little bit better there, which is pretty sweet because the Mars is slightly cheaper than the uh, 780, which is good. Um, moving on to Battlefield 4, the um, 
the temperatures in Battlefield 4 for the Mars are 72 and for the Aces TI, uh, 780 Ti, you're looking at 71. So pretty much neck and neck there uh, for the temperatures. Uh, for the benchmark results for the Mars, we got about 100, uh, sorry, 171 for the max frames and 118 for the average. And bear in mind, this is everything on ultra on a single screen at uh, 1920 by 1080. And for the uh, 780 Ti, it was 156 uh, for the max frames and 65 for, sorry, 102 for the average. So the Mars doing slightly bit better there. Seems like Battlefield 4 prefers uh, the SLI runs a bit better. Uh, moving on to the last benchmark we ran was Batman Origins. Now the 780 Ti was at 72 degrees and the Mars was at uh, 70 degrees, so pretty much neck and neck for the uh, temperatures there again. And for the Mars results, the maximum was 179 frames and the average was 111 frames. Moving on to the uh, 780 Ti, um, for retrospect for that one, it got 181. So that was the first benchmark we got where the results were slightly better um, for the 780 Ti. So it looks like Batman Origins doesn't scale as well in, uh, in SLI. And then the average frames for, uh, for the Ti was 102. So slightly better there again for the 780 Ti. 108, sorry, 140 for the average as opposed to 111. So it looks like the other two games were definitely better for SLI and Batman Orange is not as good, but you can still definitely see that all the games were definitely playable with a single screen. They definitely pushed out some high frames. And as you can see, I'm playing now with, uh, with high settings and I'm getting about 70 frames average on this and this is really smooth. And, uh, and to be able to run these three screens at 144 hertz off the screens on a single physical card, there's actually no other card that can do this. So it's pretty sweet to be able to do that. Um, I've actually had this game open for quite a while now. We'll just alt tab out and we'll see what, we, uh, what we're looking for the temperature. So we're at 73 degrees there. So that is pretty much ultra cool because I've had this game open for over half an hour now. So 72 degrees to be running for that long. Um, is really good. Um, so that's pretty much it for this uh, this sort of overview and quick review of this card. Just wanted to show you sort of how it performs. I guess if you're into multi-monitor setups, like you don't have to run surround sound, you can definitely run just uh, single screens if you're doing a lot, a lot of multitask programs or if you do prefer uh, gaming and you like to run surround sound, this is definitely a card uh, for you. Just bear in mind if you are running the latest games and you want to be running at full settings um, at maximum res this card will struggle a little bit as it's based on two 760 cores um, it's not based on two of your higher say 780 or two of your higher titan cores but um, other than that it's a really great card performs well runs cool um, and one thing i haven't mentioned is how quiet it is um, i actually cannot hear it over the other fans in the system i actually haven't heard the actual fans sort of ramp up at all so it's not like one of the cards that where it sort of heats up it goes really loud so I actually haven't heard this yet, so that's really good. Uh, so I want to thank Aces for sending this card, and stay tuned for more videos in the future.